Welcome to the S200 series UAV tutorial video. In order to make it easier for you to master basic flight skills, this video will guide you precautions for your first flight. Please check the battery of the aircraft and the remote control before flying. Install the battery at the rear of the fuselage. Press and hold the power button of the remote control for 2 seconds to turn the remote control on or off. After turning on the remote control, the GDU Flight 2 will pop up app interface automatically. Register a GDU account to login. Aircraft preparation. Unfold the aircraft arms one by one. Insert the SD card into the slot above the battery compartment. Press the buckle of the gimbal cover to pop it out. Remove the gimbal cover. Place the aircraft on a level surface. Short press once and then long press the battery power button for 2 seconds to turn the aircraft on or off. Then complete the pre-flight check according to the app prompts. When preparing to take off, keep a safe distance of at least 5 meters from the aircraft. Operate facing the tail of the aircraft. Wait for GPS satellite search to be normal. Use the left and right joysticks to start the motor in an inward or outward manner. After the blades rotate, push the joystick upward with your left hand. Complete manual takeoff. The left joystick of the remote control controls the flight altitude and direction. The right joystick controls the aircraft to move forward, backward, and left and right. Below the image transmission interface, you can see the current flight altitude, speed and other parameter information. Click the remote control settings on the right to switch the joystick mode. The camera function button on the right can switch between taking photos and recording videos. During flight, you can use the buttons and the wave wheel on the remote control to adjust the pitch of the gimbal and control the shooting. After shooting, click the playback icon to view and download the shot material. Click the infrared, zoom, and split screen icons in the lower left corner of the remote control to quickly switch the corresponding three shooting modes. In infrared mode, Use the point temperature measurement function to click and measure the temperature of any point in the screen. Use the regional temperature measurement function to select the temperature measurement area and move the area. The highest and lowest temperatures of the area will be displayed on the screen. Use the split screen function to display the infrared camera and zoom camera images in a left-right split screen. You can set the return mode to Return at set altitude. Left side of the screen, click the one button return icon. It will automatically return. After the aircraft returns to the return point, it will automatically land on the ground and stop the propellers. You can also manually operate the return and landing. Pull down the left joystick to slow down. After landing on the ground, keep pulling down the joystick until the motor stops. This concludes the introduction to this tutorial video. Thanks for watching.